This is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by Hiro Sanada, Hi. Okay. Nice to meet you. Um, who is in town for SIF as part of the tour for Mr. Holmes, uh, which is a film about, I guess you would say, the last case of Sherlock Holmes' career. Uh, a very interesting project because Sherlock Holmes is such a popular character in uh, our culture now. Uh, I want to start sort of with a general question, though. Um, I understand that you train sort of as a classical actor doing Shakespeare and stuff like that. Um, when I think about acting, Sherlock Holmes seems like one of those very classical characters. Um, what is it like getting the opportunity to be in a project like Sherlock Holmes and sort of the historical significance that that sort of carries? Because we talk about people who've been in Sherlock Holmes movies like 100 years ago, yeah. basically at this point, still to this day. What is it like to be in a project like that? I'm so happy to be part of the Sherlock Holmes movie. I could never have imagined before, you know. Uh, no Japanese, of course. And um, when I read the script, oh my gosh, um, I should be there, <laughs> I thought. And especially, you know, uh, Sherlock played by Sir Ian yeah. and directed by Bill Condon. Bill Condon. Yeah. So I had no reason to say no. That's fantastic. Yeah, I was so excited. Um, you bring up a good uh, point, which was uh, another question I had, in um, terms of, I mean, you've had a very long and varied career. You've worked with tons of people, but there's kind of few people that have that same sort of, I don't know, what do you want to call it, gravitas or legacy as someone like Ian McKellen, who's been acting forever in significant projects. What is it like to work with somebody like that? And even as somebody who's acted and had a long career as yourself, do you even get nervous? And do you want to try and like do your best when you're acting along them? Because it seems like yeah, it would stress me out if I were course. there. Of course, I was so nervous <laughs> at the uh, beginning of the shooting, of course. But um, I was so happy because he was so helpful. And then, oh, very first time I met him on set, he told me that, Oh, we we were in the same movie, huh? In the Wolverine. In that. Oh yeah, that's yes. true. Yeah, exactly. We we shot totally separated, <laughs> but uh, yes, we were. And he made me relax. I was so happy, and I'm using that kind of pressure to, you know, energy, uh, and for my role, Umezaki, the Sherlock is a hero, but. Sir Ian is my real hero, yeah. so I... <laughs> Not a lot I, of faking, I, use, I had to go on there. Yeah, uh, admiration for him to playing my role with Mezaki. So I'm always switching that kind of respect or, you know, using dialect for my role. That's the way to forget the pressure. <laughs> I can totally imagine. You, you, your character has a very interesting sort of part in the movie in that I'm not going not gonna to reveal the story that's going on there because it's an interesting sort of um, evolution in both of the story and the evolution that it has on Sherlock Holmes. Um, what was it like sort of trying to capture that story between you and him? Because it is sort of like a story within a story and it's, it's sort of a very... I don't want to use the word brief, but it, it, you have very limited time to sort of convey these uh, feelings and topics and all this other stuff that is going to be used in the greater picture mm -hmm. of uh, the events that unravel um, when he's back home. But what is it like to try and sort of condense that? Did you have to, I don't know, wh what do you do to sort of try and create those emotions and those feelings and all that sort of stuff in a sort of limited amount of time that you're able to... <laughs> Yeah, uh, after I read the script, I read the novel. And okay. in the novel, um, the Umezaki's part is much bigger, and then a lot of uh, things happening. So, um, the short term in the movie, but I thought I have to condense all the yeah. um, material <laughs> from the novel, yeah. and plus my imagination. So, yeah, to condense and depth for each scenes. That, that was my mission. Uh, it was another pressure for me. <laughs> but Bill Condon, the director, gave me a lot of good, great advice. 
pointers, and uh, all of them were so clear and simple but effective. So until he got uh, exactly what he wanted, he never stopped shooting. <laughs> and then we repeat and repeat. Then we create the scenes. So day by day, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, you know. Uh, I had a great partner, so yeah, <laughs> all of my scenes with him. So I was so lucky. So every day I enjoyed the rehearsal and the shooting discussion. I really enjoyed it. So condense was my mission. Well, and the thing that's interesting about the part that you're trying to condense is there's, as you said, like your character is really uh, Sherlock Holmes is a hero to him. But at the same time, there's a whole backstory that is complex mm -hmm. that obviously yeah. has some deep emotional um, mm -hmm. implications on. Yeah, him. my role Umezaki believe, you know, um, I lost my father because of Sherlock. So part of me mad at him, right? Sure, absolutely. But also my father get, uh, made Sherlock my hero. So I read a, all, almost all the Sherlock novels. Really? Maybe. Wow. Oh, in character. My, my character had to be read all of them. So he, he became a hero and, um, you know, a lot of complicated um, feeling there. So at, at the beginning of the conversation, the Umezaki have to keep distance with Sherlock. But little by little, you know, father, some moment, grown yeah, up. Totally, yeah. So that's a beautiful th things, I think. That's kind of mm, a uh, step, or is the most difficult and interesting thing for me. Yeah, that's a, I mean, you raise a very interesting uh, point there as well, and that um, this movie plays very much on the idea of like what is fiction and reality in within within the yeah. Sherlock Holmes universe because your character is very much having grown up with these books and even <laughs> even Sherlock Holmes is like yeah that was just Watson you know dramatizing or whatever yeah. so there's Dr. There's Watson a, <laughs> changed his life yeah. or image right yeah but uh, I love that point this this is the most unique point of this movie I think so sometimes you know if you have a fictional story within a fictional story. Uh, it makes new fictional story feel real. Totally. So we can feel that Sherlock Holmes is a real person in this movie. Yeah. And then I, I'm like an interviewer on behalf of all the <laughs> Sherlock Holmes fans yeah. in the world. Yeah. Oh, uh, where's your famous hat and the pipe? <laughs> oh no, it's great. The scene with your mom is, yeah. is, is tremendous. Where it's just My like, mother, wait a minute, like, is, is it your Sherlock Holmes? You really yeah, Sherlock Holmes? She she wants to fictional, but you are the real, yeah. right? Yeah. I love that moment. So that's the biggest point of this movie, I think. And uh, I'm glad to be a part of this kind of movie as a person, as an actor, or a Japanese. Yeah, it's a very it's a very unique, interesting spin on the whole Sherlock Holmes universe. <laughs> yeah. And you said you read the, like most of the stories prior to doing this movie. Oh no no no! I, I the I character just said okay. Umezaki read all of them after his father disappeared. Yes, yes. right. So I didn't. Had, had you read, read much in the way of Sherlock Holmes prior to this movie, uh, just as a fan all, or, or because yeah, of the movie? I, I watched a lot of uh, black and white movies oh, yeah. and uh, novels. And of course, a new Sherlock Holmes movie and TV. Yeah, <laughs> many, so, many TV series. Yeah. yeah, so I could believe, you know, um, a lot of Sherlock Holmes fans could enjoy this movie. Oh, not only... Uh, mm, seasoned Sherlock Holmes fan. Yeah, no. It's, it's also newcomers. Absolutely. Can enjoy it. So yeah. I hope the people can feel warm heart from this movie. I definitely agree. Um, so the film is Mr. Holmes. It's coming out here this summer. Um, July 
17th. July 17th. Yeah. Um, in terms of you personally, is there any other projects you want people to keep their eyes out for that you'll be part of? Oh, or is yeah. there a place like a website or Twitter or anything that people can keep up to date with what you have going oh, on? I'm sorry. I have no website, no Twitter, no Facebook at all. I don't know. I, I, I totally respect <laughs> that. So probably IMDB yeah, or something sorry, is the best that, place for that. That's my style. But uh, yeah, I want to say something about new one, but I, I cannot say yet. So... Oh, it's too bad. Well, yeah. I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled for it. Uh, Hero, thank you so much for joining me so here, much. and I wish you the best of luck with both Mr. Holmes and this mystery project that hopefully <laughs> we'll find about soon enough. Thank you so much. Thank you.